it's good to see you. I'm Diane Boardman. I'm head of school at Sycamore School. But I'm here tonight speaking on behalf of Isaacs. Isaacs is the Independent Schools Association of the Central States. So Isaacs is an association made up of 230 schools in 13 Midwestern states. Um, there are only seven staff members of Isaacs. It's a, it's a lean operation governed by a 21-member board. And that board is made up of teachers, administrators, and trustees from a variety of Isaac schools. The Isaacs also uses a lot of volunteers for a lot of their activities, volunteers from independent schools. The purposes of Isaacs is an accrediting organization. It also uh, sponsors lots of professional development for its member schools and offers consulting services as well. This is the mission of Isaacs, to promote the development of strong learning communities characterized by high achievements, social responsibility, independence of governance, programs, and policies. And the goal then is achieved through the three areas that they uh, service that they offer. Isaac's motto is excellence, equity, and independence. So Isaacs has several policy goals. We're going to go through those just a little bit. Um, number one is to maintain the accreditation process at the highest level. The accreditation process is probably the most important thing Isaacs does. And it's a, it is a very rigorous process, one with lots of integrity. I've been exposed to several accreditation processes and none other compared to Isaacs, in my opinion. Um, they provide exceptional, accessible professional development opportunities. They host an annual uh, conference, which actually is in Indianapolis this year, November uh, 6th and 7th. Um, but the, uh, that moves around the Midwest. And then they offer lots of professional development workshops and um, seminars and webinars. They nurture and support school leadership at every level. The, uh, some of the Isaac staff serve as consultants to school leaders. I'm part of a, an Isaac's listserv of all the heads of school at all these 230 schools. So if I have a question, I want to know how someone handles something, I shoot, you know, shoot a note out to all 230 heads of school and do a quick survey about who does what. They create um, incentives and design programs to encourage participation of member schools for the benefit of all. Um, and some of these listservs and sharing networks, uh, webinars are ways they do that. A deep commitment to multiculturalism and equity. Uh, in Isaac schools, we'll, I'll talk in just a minute about the accreditation process, but you cannot be in Isaac school if you don't meet the standard of uh, multiculturalism and equity as part of your uh, value system. Whoops, I'm sorry. Um, they advocate for independent education and for Isaacs. So by, when I talk about independent schools, I'm talking about basically schools that do not have um, relationships to a specific faith organization or governmental organization. We, we are in charge of our own governance. And then they ensure the financial health of Isaacs as an organization. So in Indianapolis, there are 11 schools that are Isaacs accredited schools. And you see those schools here. Some of them are um, K through 12 schools. Some are just high schools. Some are K through eight. Some are preschool through eight. But all 11 of these schools belong to Isaacs. <clears throat> and what distinguishes an independent school from another independent school are, are the individual missions of the school. Each of these schools has a mission. Sycamore's mission, for example, is to serve very bright learners. So their school, their mission defines their school. So these, all these schools are not the same. They're very uh, individual. They serve different populations. Some of these schools are not only Isaac's accredited, some are state accredited. 
and, and some are, have no interest in being state accredited. And those are the ones that have absolutely no governmental or religious ties, don't accept government funds, don't um, accept, have to follow any government dictates or from any specific church. So the accreditation process is um, probably the most important thing that Isaacs does. And to be accredited by Isaacs, a school has to meet all of Isaac's standards of accreditation. There are 54 of them in every area of school life. I'm not going to go through 54 standards for you today, but um, but it covers. It's comprehensive, covering everything from the business office to advancement to uh, personnel to auxiliary services to the lunch program. I mean, every single part of school life. There are two kind of uh, fundamental standards that Isaac's is looking for and that's disclosure and congruence. So by disclosure, they are wanting to know that a school fully and accurately discloses their mission, their philosophy, and their practices in all their print material, all their presentations, that, they're, that those are fully disclosed. And then when the accreditation team visits the school, they're looking for congruence. In other words, they're looking to see that what that school is doing matches what it says it's doing. Um, and then one other kind of fundamental uh, goal of the accreditation is the comprehensive study that the school does of strengths and challenges that, and comes up with a plan for school improvement. Um, Isaac schools have to show improvement or, or they don't receive full accreditation. So I want to tell you about the accreditation process. It's a seven-year cycle, so every seven years, each one of these schools has to be re-accredited. So in year one of the, of the accreditation process, the school is required to review and uh, either reaffirm or revise its mission, its philosophy, its goals, its curriculum. So that is looked at very carefully in year one and then they survey all their constituents. You have to survey parents, faculty, students, alumni, and trustees, and, and get lots of data. And then that data has to be analyzed, and um, you also have to develop in that year, in year one, a profile of your graduates, what they're doing, where they are, um, different levels of success. Year two, then, the school has to do a comprehensive self-evaluation. So in year two, there are uh, lots of committees organized in the school, probably 25 committees or so work on this self-study. And each committee uh, prepares a report on every area of curriculum and every area of school life. And in this report, they have to uh, describe the overview of the area and then they have to identify strengths, they have to identify challenges, and then they have to uh, identify plans and priorities. What are they planning to do? So that happens in every, in every area, in every report area. And then also in that year two, they have to, uh, all schools, all Isaac schools have to have a certified financial audit. Now, most Isaac schools do a certified financial audit every single year, but it's required in year two of the accreditation cycle. Then in year, year three is the visit year. That's when an accreditation team visits your school to actually um, look for congruence. Heads of school lead accreditation teams. I'm leading one in Illinois in October. And so there'll be a team of, um, peop of professionals um, the teams, depending on the size of the school, might vary from about 10 people to maybe 20 people on a team. And they do a visit at the school from Sunday through Wednesday. And in that time, they visit every area of the school, every classroom, every office. They talk to every employee of the school, interview every employee. And then they, each team member is responsible for certain report areas. And they compare what they're seeing with what they read in the self-study. And then they write a report kind of mirroring the self-study. They write what they saw 
and then they identify commendations and recommendations. And that happens in each, in each report area. And the, um, the whole team also comes up with major commendations and major recommendations for the school. So what do they see that is really, really good? And what do they see that the school needs to work on? So after all those reports, individual reports are completed, those are compiled into a visiting team report, which then is sent to Isaacs. There's an accreditation review committee at Isaacs that meets quarterly, and they review the visiting team report, the self-study, and they are actually the accrediting, uh, accreditation granting body. So they, uh, the team makes a recommendation on accreditation, but Isaacs actually grants the recommendation. Then in year four, the school has to um, review every recommendation in every report made by the team and, and respond to those. So uh, various kinds of responses. I mean, they may say this, um, this recommendation shows a lack of understanding and we don't of what we're really doing and we don't intend to comply with this recommendation for these reasons. But most, most of the time, we'll accept most of the recommendations because most of them are for the good of the school. So that year, the school has to submit a reaction report that responds to every one of those recommendations and says, what, what are you doing about those recommendations? You also have to show where you are in your strategic planning process and, um, and when it needs to be revised and for school improvement. Then in year five, um, there has to be another certified financial audit that will be submitted the next year in year six with the progress report. The progress report in year six is a report that um, discloses what you have done uh, with your reaction report. In other words, how have you responded to those recommendations? What progress have you made? What improvements have, have you made? And then year seven, the this, this year that every Isaac school loves, unless Isaac comes back to you with your progress report and says, hey, you've got some things that need to be addressed here, year seven is kind of an off year. And so no additional reports are due year seven. But then the next year, you go right back to year one and start your self-study preparation year again. So this is just a, a perpetual seven-year cycle. Um, Isaacs, I think, is a, is a really well-run organization. It's financially stable and financially prudent and also offers just a wealth of uh, services for its member schools. And I, I'm grateful to be a part of Isaacs. So thank you. Thank you.